at uh, pivot points and how you can change the pivot points uh, of your objects. So let me press G for this and move my cube here. So the cube now is, uh, the pivot point is in the middle, right? And um, yeah, so there I can rotate and uh, uh, scale. Everything is based on uh, the pivot point in the middle. So let's see if I want to change this. Um, so I can go to my edit mode, right? So let's say I want to put my pivot point uh, here, somewhere there. So I select this point, select this vertex, and then with Shift S, I go to uh, cursor to select. So that means I'm going to put my 3D cursor that was here into my point there to the one, my vertex that I selected. So now my, so I'm in edit mode, okay? So I'm gonna go back to object mode now, and I have to tell Blender that I want my pivot point to be where my 3D cursor is. So you go to object, set origin to 3D cursor. So now the 3D cursor, uh, it's there. So I can bring my 3D cursor, oh, sorry, I accidentally pressed the wrong button, Shift S, and I can cursor to word origin. So I put my cursor back there, but my pivot point now, it's here in the vector. So if I rotate now, I rotate that way, okay? The other thing uh, that I wanna show you is, let's just modify this a little bit. So let's say, um, let me just quit face and I'm just going to go inset, so just put here, inset, extrude, uh, inset, extrude, okay? Right, so uh, let's see, we want to put this, and let's go to number one, which is my autographic view, sorry, number three, which is my right view. Uh, let's say I want to put, first, I want to put this on my origin. I want to put this this cube here, my orange from here. So how can I do this? I can uh, make sure that it's precise. So I can select this face here, and I press Shift S, and I go cursor to select. So I put my um, 3D cursor there, right? And go back to object mode, and I can snap to grid. Yeah, so I can snap. Um, absolutely snap grid. So I can go to three and uh, first I want to actually put my pivot point over there. I want to put this pivot point where my cursor is. So you know how to do this? Shift S. You did this just before. Uh, not cursor to select and uh, not in that one. My, my cursor is already there so I'm going to go here to object, set origin to 3D cursor. So now, so I didn't select it. So object to origin to 3D cursor. Now, now it's over there, right? So now I can just uh, press G and I have my, I need to switch on here my uh, grid snap and I can snap there to the, to the middle, right? So if I go to my side view again and I can see, oh, sorry. Oh, keep pressing the wrong button here. Okay, there you go. So as many people ask me then how, you know, how can I mirror this? We're gonna look at the mirror modify in a minute, but uh, as is in the middle, so you could potentially just press Shift D, Shift D. I mean, there is a mirror modifier, which I'm gonna show you, but I can press Shift D, press S, so it's gone back to the same place. I come here to my little window down here and, um, uh, I want to actually uh, mirror in the Z axis. So uh, I actually want to rotate. No, not the not not the move. Sorry, uh, R for rotation. Yeah. So I click here in my uh, Z, and then I can put here three hundred and sixty. Oh, sorry, one hundred and eighty. And there you go. I've got it there. Right, so there is another way of doing this. I'm just showing you how 
you can uh, work uh, putting um, objects in the center in the middle here. Now the other thing I want to show you, let's say, uh, I'm just going to separate this now just to show you, uh, let's say uh, sometimes you have vertices that you want to align them. Okay, let's go to edit mode for this object here. Let me put my uh, x-ray and I want to make sure, I don't want anything sticking out, I want align all these vertices uh, here in this by this face here. So let's see, let's just see how we're going to select all the vertices. Let me go to the side view. So I select all of them, right? And let's say I would just want to align them so they are, they are all in the same plane. So I just press uh, S for scale and this is my scale. I want to scale on this side, yeah? So how do I know I'm going to align? So you, easy, so you press that, go to this window here, and resize and put zero in Y. So they are now all aligned. Okay, so that's it. That's all I want to show you in this video, right? Oh, there's one more thing. So, okay, how can I just now look at what my pivot point is? So if I go back here in my object mode and I want to rotate this object, it's going to rotate where that pivot point was. Maybe that's what I want, but maybe that's what isn't. So I want to maybe put the pivot point there, the same process again. So I'm going to go to... Um, Edit mode, select this face, for example, let's select that face. We want to put the pivot point there, right? So you go Shift S, cursor uh, to select. So I put my 3D cursor there, okay? Come out of uh, uh, edit mode and to object mode, and then you come here, select cube, don't forget. Uh, set origin to 3D cursor, and then therefore I change my 3D cursor there. Okay, so, and then you can just send your uh, 3D cursor back to origin. So if now, if I rotate this, now it's rotating along those ax that axis. Okay, if I want to put it back in the same, in, in the middle of this object again, so I come here, set origin, I can actually put here uh, geometry, um, origin to the center of mass so that it's gone back to the beginning to the middle okay it, in the middle of any object All right so you can do this with this one as well object set origin to the center of mass there you go okay so that's it for this video i'll see you in the next video